had Cornhusker Nissan bragging is not our style. But that doesn't mean our customers can't. Great customer care before and after the sale. The one and only place to buy a car. Wish all dealerships treated customers like Cornhusker Nissan in Norfolk, Nebraska. Girls basketball has the spotlight on this week's post game with Paul. We begin in Class C2, where Norfolk Catholic's getting hot at the right time. The Knights opened up sub-district play on Tuesday in Clarkson against crosstown rival Lutheran High Northeast. Norfolk Catholic's three six-footers, Mary Finnessy, Josie Piper, and Ellie Piper, led the way both in scoring and rebounding for the Red and White on the way to a 49-36 victory. The win improved Norfolk Catholic to 13-11 on the year and set up a must win contest two nights later against once beaten Clarkson Lee for the final. On paper, the Patriots look to be the better team, but on the court, the Knights' defense and rebounding paved the way for a shockingly easy 45-27 win and a spot in the district final that will be played on Friday where Norfolk Catholic will take on Mid-State Conference rival Guardian Angel Central Catholic in West Point. It's a really big win. Uh, we came into this saying we don't have to lose anything. Or so we just um, really emphasize playing as a team and um, getting every shot that we can. The Blue Jays defeated the Knights by 40 points back in December, but Norfolk Catholics made great strides since then, particularly in these last two weeks. The game last Friday was huge for us mentality-wise to beat Stanton at their place and then to get the win over Lutheran High. And we just kind of continue to keep building the last five, six days mentally. I and mean, that's really where the game was at tonight for us. Guardian Angels will be without leading scorer Brenna Reef, who suffered a season-ending injury in the Blue Jays' sub-district final against Howell's Dodge. Clarkson Lee's great season garnered it another chance with a game against Bridgeport on Friday in Lexington. Other area Class C2 teams advancing to district finals are BRLD and North Central, which will play one another on Friday night in Battle Creek. Crofton and Ponca will also be involved in district final matches. The area is guaranteed of at least one team in Class C1 as East Husker rivals West Point Beamer and defending state champ North Bend Central square off in North Bend. Winnebago also made the grade. In Class D1, Harding and Cedar Catholic hosts Summerland in an all-Northeast Nebraska uh, game with a trip to state on the line. And Humphrey Lindsay Holy Family is also one game away from a trip to the state tournament. And the area should be well represented in Class D2 as Humphrey St. Francis, CWC, and Why Not are all heavily favored to win their district final games on Friday. Finally, Norfolk High finished its regular season with a record of 11 wins and 11 losses after splitting a pair of games to close out the season, losing to Lincoln East before defeating Lincoln Northeast. The Panthers are at Kearney on Tuesday night to open district play. That's this week's Post Game with Paul. I'm Paul Hughes.